Hello everyone, welcome back once again to Career Q, a place to curate your career. So as you must be knowing that we have been continuing the SAP series in which we have covered several SAP modules and we will be further continuing the series in today's video here. In today's video, we will be knowing more about SAP MM that is the materials management module of SAP tool. How is it helpful? How can you use it for your business or your organization? What is the average income that you can expect? Is there any scope in the market for SAP MM and a lot more? So do watch the video to the end and without a further ado, let's get started. So the first question is, what is SAP MM? SAP MM is one sub-module or module of the SAP tool that is the ERP system that SAP has created in which you can better manage your data warehousing, you can better manage your inventory and your planning for your business. That is what SAP MM is. You can use SAP MM tool when you know you have a business and you want to know all about how much inventory you already have how much you need to procure where the materials are going all of these data everything that needs to be you know considered and then to be worked upon such that your business increases manifolds for that, you need to use a strong ERP tool and SAP MM is there to save you. It helps the organizations to, you know, automate and streamline their business, their inventory, their procurement cost and to reduce their wastage as well. So, you know, all of these processes can be better managed by any organization with using this SAP MM module that SAP has provided. So that's all about SAP MM. Now let's get to know whether it is a in-demand uh, technology and whether there is a scope for jobs in the market or not. The answer to this question is yes, there is immense scope of SAP MM in the market because you know every time a business wants to grow and they want to uh, you know streamline their processes, they want to get rid of the old stock, they want to uh, get new stock, they want to manage their inventory. So any kind of business really needs to use this tool if they want to grow in their business and hence SAP MM is one tool that is really used uh, almost in all kind of sectors but it is majorly used in the supply chain management. However, in the IT sector also we have seen a lot of potential and we can say that there is a lot of scope when we are you know uh, knowing or trying to get to know more about SAP MM. So the next question that immediately pops up to our head is that what are the different job roles that uh, an SAP MM professional can go in for and how you can uh, or in which fields you can try to go into when you are deciding or when you have decided that you want to become an SAP MM professional. So there are six major job roles or responsibilities in which you can make uh, or think about making a career when you are working in SAP MM. The first one is SAP MM consultant. Now as we have already seen the consultants are the major people who want or uh, who are day in day out interacting with the clients and bringing in more clients. So you, when you are in the IT uh, segment and there are multiple other customers, so your customers or your clients can be anyone. They can be the businesses who are actually managing the uh, supply chain systems. You have to go to them and you have to convince them that why you will be using this tool, what 
new will this tool add to their already existing business and how you can help your clients grow their businesses so you know for all of these knowings you need to know how sap mm works and that is why sap mm consultants are required almost everywhere and majorly in the it sector the second job role is that of sap mm functional analyst now as a functional analyst you have to work with the actual raw data that is provided by your client or your customer or maybe your organization if you are not working in an it segment and you don't have a client you're directly working into um, in an organization such as britannia or you're working in an organization such as nestle so uh, those are the people who are you know majorly producing things and supplying things so they are maybe using them directly so when you are working for these uh, organizations or when you are working as a or when you are working as someone in the IT service sector uh, providing services to such clients then you know uh, you have to know how to work with raw data and to give out useful beneficial results such that the businesses in hand or in turn grow so that is the job of an sap mm functional analyst the third in line is the sap mm project manager now as we all know project managers cannot be people who are starting from the fresher level uh, for becoming a project manager you need to know end to end solution of how sap mm is working what are the different segments or the sub modules that function in sap mm and you have to be on uh, you have to have the knowledge of all of them and you have to be uh, you know on top of all of them you have to be managing each of those segments or each of those fragments such that the entire project that is using sap mm that becomes streamlined and there is no flaw or no gaps in between so that is the job of an sap mm project manager to oversee the entire process and to know whether your project is going well or doing well or not and how you can improve your performances the next in line is sap mm support specialist now since this is a part of a very big erp system there can be times or there are multiple times when you know issues come in and people are not able to uh, deal or know how to resolve those issues when they are trying to customize according to their business requirements there there some issue can come up or you know there can be some bug when you have written your code so these kind of issues when you are uh, facing an issue with the ui also so these issues can be resolved by an sap mm support specialist a person who is there to provide support to the clients or to the organizations such that everyone is able to resolve their issues as soon as possible such that the business doesn't suffer on a large scale the next in line is the sap mm master data analyst a master data analyst is a person who actually works with the master data like the raw uh, tons and tons of data that gets generated each and every day how much production has been occurred in each and every pipe or each and every supply if there are they are big organizations they can have a lot of supply units how many customers were there how many customers have bought and a lot more there can be n n number of data and tons of data which you know everyone not even functional analyst is able to work with such data to work in with such a huge amount of data we require special data analysts who are termed as sap mm master data analyst these data analysts work to reduce the size of the data filter out or clean out the actual required data and then this uh, you know data is further given to the functional analyst to uh, take out or find out the functional messages or the uh, views that the business is expecting to know such that they are able to reduce their 
uh, wastage or such that they are able to enhance their growth, enhance their production and gain more customers. So this is the role of SAP MM Master Data Analyst. And the last job role that you can find in the SAP MM uh, module is that of SAP MM Materials Planner. Now, Materials Planner is a person who has to work day in, day out with a production team. You know, like how much material can uh, uh, has been in, imported or exported, what is the cost of each material and all the inventory related data, how much is still there, how much is needed, what is needed, when it is needed, a lot of things based on these specific small things need to be managed when the business has grown and you know when the business has uh, come up to a certain space. So as an SAP MM materials planner you have to be on top of the production team and working very closely with the production team to get in all your data that you have you require and then plan accordingly uh, you know which thing needs to be uh, coming in which thing needs to be going out uh, or which is being wasted so you know how the materials should be planned such that the businesses don't incur much losses so this is the role of SAP MM materials planner so these are the six various job profiles that is there in the SAP MM module and in which you can make a career of to start with, can freshers come into the job? Yes, uh, you can become an SAP MM professional. However, a little bit of market knowledge is something that if you have from beforehand, that is that will come really handy and it will further help you. Further, if you don't have any such uh, prior experience, you are a complete fresher, then even if you have worked in such an organization, like a friend of mine got an internship in PepsiCo. So she has uh, or she can show it to someone and say that I have worked in PepsiCo and uh, she was specially uh, specifically put in the uh, place where the Lay's product is being manufactured. So, you know, she can use that knowledge. So you also can try and get hold of some internships or you can uh, go in to understand the market and adopt or go in to perform or take in a certification. If you take a certification, it will actually put a stamp on your knowledge because it is a market thing that we are looking into. And, you know, generally market is one thing that we are not really taught if we are coming from a BTEC background or a BCA background. So market and, you know, how supply chain works, these are not things that are being taught. If you are working in a sales and distribution kind of thing, if you're done your MBA then the thing is different but if you have done just pursued your bachelor's then it's a bit uh, early phase and if you do a certification it will enhance or improve your chances of getting in a job uh, but yes freshers do get into the SAP MM module so now let us discuss how much is the salary or average salary that an SAP MM professional can earn. So let me tell you that the average beginning salary as a fresher that you can expect is somewhere close to the 3 to 4 LPA that you know the service based organizations generally offer to the freshers. So uh, you can expect a starting salary of as low as 3 to 4 LPA. For some organizations, it can also go to 6 to 7 LPA. Uh, that really, you know, comes with organization to organization, that figure can differ. However, after you have worked for some time, like you have worked for 3 to 4 years now, how much can you expect a growth in your salary? Then you can easily expect anywhere in between 12 to 15 LPA. So within a span of three to four years, you can increase your salary, you know, three to five times and starting from three to four LPA, you can expect somewhere in between 12 to 15 LPA. Again, depending on uh, the organization, this figure can be a lot more as you grow in your career. 
So that's all that I have for you in today's video. If you have any doubts, anything that you want to connect to, to me with, come to topmate.io and I will try to clear out all your doubts. If there is anything else that you want me to cover, please put them down in the comment section. Also, if I have missed anything which you feel the people or the audience on a whole should know about, please put them down in the comment section as well such that everyone gets the benefit of the community that we have built. And I'll come again tomorrow with another new video. Till then, stay tuned to Career Q. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.